welcome dear friends today we are going to learn about approaches to design control drug delivery system which is diffusion controlled the diffusion controlled drug delivery system it basically works on the principle that in this type of system the drug release is controlled by the diffusion of the drug through the polymeric membrane okay so the diffusion systems they are characterized by the release rate of a drug being dependent on its diffusion through an inert membrane barrier now in this case this inert membrane barrier is nothing but a polymeric membrane basically diffusion process shows the movement of the drug molecules from a region of higher concentration to the one of the lower concentration now if you take the dosage form at that time the dose the drug dose it is encapsulated inside a polymeric membrane this polymeric membrane it act as a uh, inert membrane barrier or we can say uh, this membrane it does not get dissolved but through this membrane the drug uh, diffuse diffuses from inside to the outside okay so we can say as the drug concentration inside that membrane is high the drug is moving um from a region of higher concentration to the to that of the lower concentration so now we can say in this type of drug release the driving force is the concentration of the drug okay so the flux of the drug that is j in amount per area time across a membrane in the direction of decreasing concentration is given by fick's law now fick's law say that the amount of the drug given out per area time is equal to d into um, dc by dxl where d is the diffusion coefficient in area per time dc by dx is the change of concentration that is c changes with the distance x okay and l is the length of the polymeric membrane so in common form when a water insoluble membrane it encloses a core of the drug it must diffuse through the membrane the drug release rate that is dm by dt is given as dm by dt is equal to adk into delta c by l where a is nothing but the area available for diffusion k is the partition coefficient of the drug between the membrane and the core l is the diffusion path length that is thickness of the coat of the polymeric membrane delta c is the concentration gradient or concentration difference across the membrane so in diffusion controlled dosage forms drug molecules have to diffuse through a polymer membrane or a polymer matrix to be released so we can say that dissolution type of dosage forms there are of two types one is reservoir system and the second one is monolithic now what is reservoir system in the reservoir system the drug is enclosed in a polymeric membrane whereas in polymeric matrix type or monolithic system the drug is dispersed into that polymeric matrix okay so diffusion controlled devices it can be divided into reservoir type and monolithic type the only difference between the two types is whether a drug is surrounded by a polymer membrane or it is distributed through the polymer matrix the reservoir devices they are classified based on porosity of a polymer polymeric membrane if the polymeric membrane is porous or if it is non porous okay so what happens in non porous reservoir system the drug molecules it has to diffuse through the polymer membrane on the other hand in micro porous reservoir systems the drug molecules they are released by diffusion through micro pores that are usually filled with either water or they are filled with oil now let us first see what is a reservoir type device so in this system the water insoluble polymeric material it encases a core of the drug okay so we can say the drug pure drug it is uh, enclosed or encapsulated within the polymeric material 
Now this polymeric material, it is water insoluble. So we can say this polymeric membrane, it does not get dissolved within the body fluids. Okay. So the drug, it will get partitioned into the membrane and it will get exchanged with the fluid which surrounds the particle or the tablet. The additional drug, it will enter the polymer, it will diffuse to the periphery and it will get exchanged with the surrounding media. So now let us see how this type of dosage form is described. The drug core uh, surround, is surrounded by a polymer membrane that controls the release rate. So it follows zero order drug delivery. The release rate is variable with polymer type. What is the dis disadvantage of this type of system? That it must be physically removed from the implant site and it is difficult to deliver high molecular weight compound. So generally um, also its cost, it gets increased per dosages unit. There is a chance of potential toxicity if the system fails. Now consider this to be a drug core and this is the water insoluble polymer. So what will happen as you give the drug or the dosage form to the patient, the drug molecules which are inside that core, they will start to diffuse out through the polymeric membrane very slowly. So what is happening? Initially, the molecules, the drug molecules which are present in close proximity to this polymeric membrane, they are getting partitioned and then they get exchanged with the external fluids. Then the drug which is present here, it is going to get partitioned. Now in this case, you have to remember that the drug, it is um, completely encapsulated within the membrane. So that means if the molecule is present at this point or if the drug molecule is present at this time or at this point, the molecule it has to only traverse this membrane length. Okay. So in this case, the L which is denoted in the fixed law, it remains constant. Okay. And hence we can say this system, it is going to follow a zero order rate kinetics. Okay. Now, let us see what is what is a matrix type. So in the matrix system, the drug is dispersed as solid particles within a porous matrix, which is formed by a water insoluble polymer. The drug particles, they are located at the surface of the release unit. Uh, they will first will get dissolved and the drug release will be rapid, okay? So thereafter, the drug particles at a successively increasing distance from the surface of the release unit, they will get dissolved and they will get released after part a diffusion in the pores of the exterior of the release unit, okay? Thus, the diffusion distance of dissolved drug, it is going to increase as the release process will proceed. So here is a homogeneous dispersion of the solid drug in a polymer mix, okay? What is the advantage? It is very easier to produce than reservoir device and it can deliver high molecular weight compounds as well. The disadvantage is it cannot obtain zero order release. Also, you have to remove the matrix uh, if it is implanted uh, when the drug release is complete, okay? Now you can see this is the polymeric matrix and the drug particles, they are dispersed uniformly, okay? Now what is going to happen when you place this type of system inside the patient's body, the drugs, drug molecules which are immediately present um, at the surface, they will be released first, okay? So after the release, how they are going to get released? After diffusion, okay? Now, after the release of the drug, what is going to happen? The inner drug molecules, they will start to diffuse. But this, in, the length of this uh, polymeric matrix is much high for this molecule as compared to this molecule. Why? Because the length is more, okay? If you observe this length, it is 
in close proximity to the surface whereas this drug molecule it is far from this surface okay now both these molecules they will have to transfer um, diffuse through this matrix and then they will reach the surface and then they will be exchanged with the external fluid so what is happening here this molecule it will take less time to come out whereas this molecule it will take more time to come out and because of this um, uh, increased time okay for the release of the drug particles which are situated in the inner place uh, the uh, this type of dosage form it will not follow zero order release rate kinetics okay so this was all about approach a dissolution based approach for uh, drug release in a controlled release formulation so thank you all for watching